Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Aditya, co-founder of Karchi and today we are going to deal with another interesting topic. So today we are going to see how to get IP details like the location, the IP address of the user when they first visit your website. So this is from the ethical point of view and this might be helpful when suppose if someone is logging in your website so you may want to notify your user that the login like the logged in user that someone logged in in your account via email saying that this was the ip address and this was the location the user logged in from so that the user knows that if it's not them then someone might have logged in so just like a security feature if you want to implement from that perspective then this tutorial might be helpful so Again, it's totally from the ethical point of view. So let's see how we can deal with it. So there are two ways to deal in this. So first one is to use third party resources to get the IP location and the IP address by itself. Because JavaScript, in JavaScript, as far as I know, it's a client site, so you cannot get the IP details. You need a server site for that. So of course you can have your own backend and then you can process the request. So that would be the second way of getting the IP details. But apart from that, there is a website known as api.ipify.org API where when you send a GET request, it will send you the IP of the request where it sent it from. And then you can use that IP to another API to get the geolocation of that uh, IP. So in this case, you just need to pass the received IP in the request and you'll get the details. So let's see how we can do this. So first thing we need to do of course, again, you can also get the geolocation of the IP from the server. So uh, if you are using like a backend like in Express or Laravel, they have their own packages. So you don't have to rely on this. Like the, even the Laravel has very good third party packages. So it's totally up to you which approach you choose. But just for a demo how it works, I'm just going to use both for the both thing like third party APIs. So let's begin. First, uh, we have just have an IP details page and here, so this first line. So I'll be making an async data request. So in NUCT, there is async data function, which is server side rendered and it renders before your page is rendered. Sorry, it, it works before your page is rendered. So the this is as good as saying that you are getting the IP details in the first request of your when the page when the user visits on your page so as you could see this is the url of that api i was talking about and this will give me the ip details and this is nothing but destructuring the ip because the details you get it's something like ip and the ip address like random ip address something like this so when i do destructuring like this it gives me only this value so that's why I'm doing a destructuring like this. So once that's done, we then pass the IP to our uh, another API, which is again a third party API. In that you just pass the received IP and then you get all the details. So let's console log the details, console.log details. And let's see what we get. So if I go here and refresh the page, let's go to console now. So if you could see, like here are the details. So currently I am in United Kingdom. So all the details are displayed here. So now let's display the details on our page one by one. Very simple, like we already have this. We just need to display it on our page. So what we are gonna do is we are just gonna say, okay, the thing we were doing wrong is we write this, return details. So now you could see, oh, by mistake, it, this also again, this was not necessary. So remove this. Just going, yeah. So it's showing me location is United Kingdom, City of London, and my location from the IP address. So this is how you could get the details from the IP address. And yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to share it, subscribe to my channel as well, and also please give a thumbs up. Till the next time, goodbye.